we present our off-pump technique to achieve total arterial revascularization using in situ bilateral mammary arteries. In the first case, we will use a retroaortic reta to revascularize the vessels of the anterior wall and the leta for the vessels of the lateral and posterior walls. The in situ reta is laying on the anterior wall and can easily reach the apex of the heart. The graft is then brought intrapericardially through a hole above the superior vena cava and through the transverse pericardial sinus to reach the vessels of the anterior wall. The in situ leta is brought intrapericardially through a hole beneath the phrenic nerve to reach the lateral wall. After opening the diagonal branch and inserting an intracoronary shunt, the reta is opened and a side-to-side -side anastomosis of 45 degrees is performed using a parachute technique. Next, the LAD is opened and an intracoronary shunt is inserted. The reta is trimmed to an optimal length between the two vessels and a parallel end to side anastomosis is made using the same parachute technique. The pedicle is then fixed to the epicardium on both sides of the anastomosis to avoid any torsion. The position of the leta through the pericardial hole is checked to ensure there is no tension that exists on the reta graft. After exposing the lateral wall by pulling up the deep slings, the obtuse marginal is stabilized, opened, and an intracoronary shunt is introduced. The leta is opened, and a side-to-side -side diamond-shaped anastomosis is performed using a parachute technique. The posterior wall is then exposed, the PDA is opened, and a shunt is introduced. With the same leta, an end to side anastomosis is made. Final inspection of the graphs is then performed. In the second case, where on the anterior wall only the LAD must be revascularized, the reta is routed in front of the aorta to reach the LAD, while the leta is used for the lateral and posterior wall. The reta is routed intrapericardially in front of the ascending aorta to reach the anterior wall. The LAD is stabilized, opened, and a shunt is introduced. With the reta, a parallel end to side anastomosis is performed. Using the leta, a sequential graft is then performed on the lateral and posterior wall, similar to the previous case. First, a side-to-side -side diamond-shaped anastomosis with the obtuse marginal is performed.
Subsequently, an endocyte anastomosis with the posterior descending artery is then performed. Final inspection of the grafts is performed. Pericardial approximation is always done prior to chest closure. Thank you for watching our video.